So you decided to play the Roblox animal survival game, Cenozoic Survival. You click on an animal and spawn in, but you just have no idea on how to play the game. Or perhaps you just really want to know how to do that cool animation you saw someone else do. So let's fix that. Hey everyone, it's Lars, and I'm back again with another Cenozoic Survival video, and today I'll be showing you how to play as the direwolf. Once you're in game after choosing the direwolf through the character selection, you may notice some bars at the bottom right of your screen. These are your survival stats. You need to maintain these when you're playing the game. If something like your hunger or thirst goes all the way down, you'll eventually start taking damage and eventually die. But don't worry, I'll show you on how to fill these bars later on. To move your character around, use the WASD keys. A and D to turn side to side, S to go backwards and W to go forwards. Your character should be in a walking state by default. To go into a trot, tap the Z key. You can stop trotting by tapping Z again. To run, hold shift. To sprint, tap X whilst running. Going into a run or sprint will drain stamina. Walking or sitting down will regain stamina. Trotting will not increase or decrease stamina. To jump, it's spacebar. The longer you hold the spacebar key, the farther you jump. A little bar should appear at the bottom of your screen showing you how powerful your jump will be. Jumping also drains stamina. Dire wolves are carnivores, which mean they can only eat meat. Meat in this game is acquired by the corpses players drop when they die. When you're hovering over a corpse, hold the E key. If you'd like to rip off a meat chunk or a limb, tap E. To drop the meat chunk or the limb, tap E again. Once limbs are eaten, they will drop bones which you can also pick up. Drinking water is very easy, just hold the E key over a body of water. And now on to what most people are interested in, the emotes and calls, aka the animations. Let's start with the calls. Press the one key for the howl. This is a broadcast to fellow packmates and to establish territory. Press the two key for the bark. This is used as a warning call, such as when you're defending a kill. Press the three key for the whine. This can be used to express affection, frustration, anxiety, or submission. Press the four key for the growl. An aggressive warning to threaten animals or to assert dominance. Press the 5 key for the yowl. A warning for your packmates when there's danger around. Next, the body animations. Press the 6 key for the aggressive dominance animation to play. This animation is used by a dominant wolf when a pack member is being insubordinate or otherwise not recognizing authority. Press the 7 number key for the lick animation. A subordinate greeting. Used to say hello to higher ranked wolves or to show up submission. Press the 8 number key for the scared slash sad animation. This can also be used in combination with the Z key for subordination. Press the 9 number key for a raised tail. This is to show you are alert. Keep pressing the R key for different rest animations. To get up, press the T key or the W key. Press the U key for a tail wag and press the G key for a play bow. Using body language instead of relying on the chat box makes a more realistic and enjoyable experience, at least in my opinion. Also, if you'd like to disable the cute little emojis that appear above your head, click the settings button to your left and press disable on emote emojis. At this point, your wolf is probably getting a bit hungry. To hunt down some prey, tap the B key to go into scent view. If there's anything around, some particle effects should show up. Go up to the particles to see what you're smelling. Remember that if you start to run, you'll go out of scent view, so if you're trying to follow a scent, keep in a trot or a walk. If it's night time, press V to go into night vision, or night view. It is quite hard to see the scent particles when you go into this mode, so I'd recommend turning it off when you're trying to follow a scent. Because you followed a scent or you heard something in the distance, you've now found some prey. To attack it, press the left click key on your mouse for your primary attack. To use your special attack, which for the direwolf it's the latch attack, press the F key near the prey. I'd only recommend doing your latch attack when you're in a group, otherwise it's very easy for your prey to throw you off and kill you. If you manage to take the prey down, good job! If not, there's always next time. 
By now, you may have seen some direwolves that look completely different to you. That's because there are fur variations, or skins. For the direwolves, there is a Lewis stick wolf for the staff members, the piebald for the contest winners, the melanistic wolf you can get from the game pass, and five beautiful free skins you can get in game. When you spawn in, one of the five free skins will be picked at random. If you like a particular skin, you can just respawn by pressing the M key and waiting till you get sent back to the menu. Do you have a particular wolf skin you like? Was this video helpful? Want a more in-depth Cenozoic survival tutorial? Let me know in the comment section below, and perhaps give a little tap to the like button when you're down there, because now you know how to play the direwolf and most creatures in Cenozoic survival. So I'll see you in the next one.